It's 11 o'clock and here's what's happening. Perfect celebration. The Fighting Phillies are getting ready to go to Houston as they take on the Astros. Good Monday evening, everyone. We're starting all over again with a new work week. It is October 24th. Welcome to CBS3 Eyewitness News at 11. Streaming live on CBS News Philly. My name is William, being substituted for my Uncle Yuki and my Aunt Jessica. Let's go to my Aunt Alicia Roberts, live at the Wells Fargo Center, outside. Go ahead and take it away, Aunt Alicia, with your report. With Citizens Bank Park as their backdrop, these Kutztown University college friends tailgated outside Wells Fargo Center, hoping to get a taste of Red October in South Philly on a student budget. We were watching Phillies yesterday. I said, six or six, it's 14 bucks, we're there. I gotta represent everybody. Philly sports fans Josh and Dana were eager to come out for Monday night Sixers game, not wanting that winning feeling to end. was at Game 5 with his dad and says watching Bryce Harper hit that go-ahead two-run home run is something he'll never forget. I just looked over at him and I'm like, I think he's going to do it. And then, I don't know, everything's blacked out after that. Monday afternoon, both Mayor Kenny and Police Commissioner Daniel Outlaw expressed their gratitude for fans for celebrating safely Sunday night. Commissioner Outlaw calling it a magical day on Twitter adding her thanks to residents and visitors for showing the world that we've been here before and we know how to party responsibly. Philly fans always get a bad rap. We're just passionate about our teams. As the NLCS victory sets in, fans say this team has done something for our city well beyond baseball. That's the great thing about sports. It lifts everybody and you can just sense it. The city, the energy, you feel it? It's in the air. And the winning streak continued tonight. The Sixers secured their first W of the season here at home against Andy. We're live tonight in South Philly, Alicia Roberts, CBS 3. Yep, I'm so glad the Sixers took care of business. Alicia, thank you. If you're planning to go to Houston, book now because flying will cost you up to over $200 to $600. Holy cow, that is a lot of cash to be spending right there. Stay with Alvarez News for the continuing coverage on the Fight in Phillies. You'll get live updates on CBS News Philadelphia and streaming also on CBSPhiladelphia.com. We'll be right back right after this.